What is going on guys? You're back with another video and we are doing another experiment on the channel and this one was suggested to us by Brandon865. I would assume somebody has already done this. Maybe even we did. Uh, I would expect someone like RBT or Pizza Boy or somebody. Did I just call him Pizza Boy? I just, I just mix Cookie Boy and Yo Boy Pizza together. Whatever. Um, but Brandon865 did say... Do what if every starting running back in the NFL didn't exist? Like, who would become the best running back and what teams would fail without their running backs? So, or running back. Obviously, here you're like, what? 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 Who? 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 But, besides that, uh, this is just, we're going to see what it's like normally. And then we're going to go in and see what it's like uh, without their starter. Now, not every team has really got a full like guaranteed starter uh, unless the team I know did you know is planning to start somebody going forward uh, I did just go with the highest overall so for the most part it won't matter but you know in case there's one of you guys are like 73 overall running back it's not their starter it's like well that was their highest overall all right just leave me alone okay so the Falcons missed the playoffs anyways apparently at eight and eight I don't know why I would want to force win but in case you thought I cheated or force loss anyways. There's that for you. Looking at the stat line. Uh, this is kind of important. Really doesn't matter how the uh, Falcons do specifically. Tevin Coleman, you guys see a ton of touchdowns. Freeman obviously did well. So 1,700 yards for Le'Veon Bell. Zeke 15. Hunt 15. Gurley 14. Kamara 13. Freeman 12. Howard 11. Uh, Montgomery surprisingly 11. Uh, David Johnson 11. A couple of guys with a thousand. You got, these guys are a little bit lower. So these are the numbers. Nothing really insane. I guess once again, we always like to take a look at who wins the Super Bowl. This could be a short little video, actually. Announcing, announcing, advancing to the Super Bowl. Okay, there's that. Super Bowl winners of the Eagles. So here we go. We have the Falcons, and of course, Tevin Coleman is the starter. They probably have the best. Number two situation in the league, I would say. This is where uh, all those other guys are. Here they are. The talents that they are in free agency has 50-some overalls. Howard is the highest overall, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Doesn't matter anyways. So we'll uh, we'll take a quick look at around the league. Actually, no, we won't take a look around the league. Will we? Will we? You know, some teams are a little bit better off than others. But yeah, the, the overalls are quite a bit lower. So once again, I'm sorry if one player should be released and not the other. But I went with either A, their highest overall, B, the guy I'm pretty sure is their starter, and or C, uh, I got rid of the guy that should be starting if it was close. So the Falcons still go 8-8. Eight and eight. The, the division was a little bit closer, though. Once again, don't know why you would expect me to cheat. Here it is, though. That is the results going on to stats. MVP Matt Ryan, even though they lost. All right. That clearly was an effector. Didn't run the ball as much. So NFL, you could see the numbers straight out the gate. Lower than expected. Uh, well, not expected. Lower than uh, they were before. You know, six, 15, 1,600 yards for some of the guys. But you're still seeing some pretty good numbers. I mean, Alfred Morris did pretty well. DeMarco Murray started for the Buccaneers. Did very well. They must have signed Murray in free agency. Uh, I mean, you look around and these, you know, they're not that bad of numbers at all. I mean, a lot of guys, almost a thousand. What about Packers? Do we not even have a guy? Jamal Williams with 800 yards, I think. We did have a split backfield anyways. Actually had a pretty damn good running uh, running season. Uh, it was Devontae. Uh, Devontae. Let's just see quickly by team who is the worst. So Deion Lewis, it's a little bit of a, a low one. Trickandrick West was the starter. So the Chiefs lost. Or did they? No, maybe I'm thinking of Spencer Ware. Never mind. Trickandrick West. James Conner. Well, I mean, he's already almost on pace for that by week 10 at this rate. Uh, so the Steelers is clearly the most affected, which is ironic because we did uh, the Bill, the Bear, did they stroke Bell versus Conner? And Conner didn't really do that badly. But here he did terribly. Rex Burke had it really doesn't matter for the Patriots. Their scheme literally lets anyone thrive at the running back position. Yeah, like Technically, the Steelers so far are the worst team running the ball-wise. 
Oh, here goes the Giants. I know they split the carries a little bit more, but Giants, Steelers, both uh, on that list. I think we already looked at all these other teams, right? I think we did. Maybe. It's the MVP. Did uh, you know any of the rankings change? Did any of the running backs make it? So that's a first. Didn't see a single running back on MVP. AFC side, anyone in the list? Rex Burkhead at number eight. NFC side had Mark Ingram at number eight as well. All the best running backs. Kind of weird uh, to see these names. Here they are. So, I mean, we see all the Eagles win by six. What's the story this time? Still a win by six or a win by not six? Still the Eagles in the Super Bowl. And still the Eagles winning it. Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely the case. Uh, free agency. I doubt there'd be anything new in free agency. I don't know if there's usually... No, I think guys like Eckler usually make it. Ah, oh, crap. Well... I missed that one. So the Chiefs signed Spencer Ware, so they must have re-signed him. Are none of these, like, re... Uh, well, Jeremy Hill, that's a new one, right? Because he was on the Patriots. I just wanted to see if there was any, like, big names. Like, guys like Eckler almost always make free agency, but I would highly doubt... Oh, Shazier made free agency. That's interesting. But I highly doubt they would let Eckler go, right, after the, the lack of a true starter. Nope, this time they kept Eckler. The Chargers were not having it. Probably should have done what would happen if I released all of the running backs. Would they resign with their original team? Maybe I will, depending on how short this video is. I have no clue. So I just I did decide to do what I said I was gonna do. Can I now release Coleman? Yes, I can. So take a look at free agency, what the names are in here. If you Bell, David Johnson, Todd Gurley. I mean, here they all are. I'm pretty sure I caught all of them. I might have missed maybe a few, but once again. Those would be very low overalls. But let's advance a week. See, did anyone get signed on this team? No. So we go from Freeman and uh, Tevin. Don't want any of them. So week one, really didn't see many free agent running backs signed at all, actually. I mean, surely somebody wants these guys, right? Uh, Falcons do not want them at all. Still seeing almost all the names still there. Let's go to the regular season, see if that changes anything, maybe. So we've learned the answer. The answer is the NFL or Madden is super broken. And nobody wants anybody. How are you going to let guys like these stay in free agency? David Johnson, Todd Gurley, Kamara, Hunt, McCaffrey, Howard, even Duke Johnson, Joe Mixon, Ty Montgomery, Crowell, Marlon Mack, maybe. I mean, what is this? Come on, EA. You gotta do better. We've seen some of the names go. Let's go to midseason. Hopefully, they're all gone by here. Right? Are they gone by now? Okay, they're all gone at least. But I don't know when they would have signed. Maybe it was after week one. I'm not sure. So, of course, missed the playoffs seven and nine. Don't care about checking the record because it does not matter to me. So, let's take a look around the league and see what the running was like. As in, who was where? So Zeke went to the Chiefs, Bell to the Jags, Freeman to the Bengals, CJ Anderson to the Cowboys, Melvin to the Texans, Jay on the Broncos, Carlos Hyde stayed on the Browns, Jordan Howard went to the Ravens, that'd be a pretty damn good fit, I think. Geis ended up being the starter for the Redskins, David Johnson re-signed with the Cardinals, that's the one team. Cream Hunt, a decent fit there. Saquon Barkley stayed with his Giants, uh, Todd Gurley went to the Chargers, Mark Ingram, I might have forgotten to release. Tevin Coleman on the Bucks, Vikings, definitely forgot to release him. Dalvin to the Patriots, that'd be kind of sick. Uh, Derek Henry went back to the Titans. Some very interesting names here, I'll tell ya. Did uh, Bell win MVP? Le'Veon Bell, nine. There's a few above him, though. Well, not a few, but Zeke was above him. So with this type of mix-up, this is a bit more of a mix-up than the other one. Does that change it, or is it still going to be the Eagles winning? The answer is definitely going to be the Eagles winning, right? Nope, the Saints win, but it was the Chiefs. So, yeah, that was the uh, the experiment for the day. Uh, thanks, Brandon, for the suggestion. Really didn't, I don't even know how it, I was expecting it to go, but it kind of went, it didn't go the way I thought it was. I don't know, it was just weird. Uh, it, it seems like EA doesn't even put any emphasis on it. Like, they just let it sim as if it was 
no different than normal. I can see why when we have these sick rosters in our rebuilds, we still barely win or not win at all. But anyways, thanks for your suggestion, Brandon. If you guys want to be uh, kind of featured in the video, give me uh, your suggestions in the comments section. More than likely uh, going to use it if it's at least halfway decent. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the games today. I'm assuming this came out on Sunday. And yeah, until next video. See ya!